So I think this is what a tarantula would look like before its ultimate death curl. This one is a mature male Ceratojarus darlingi, the rear horn baboon. And as you can see, he is not doing so well anymore. He's been matured for quite a while now. Many of you would know that tarantula males don't live very long after they mature. And this is no exception. See, he's not very strong anymore. Usually this species is pretty skittish because they're in old world. So when you touch them, they will bolt. But as you can see, this guy is pretty much giving up on life. So yeah, sad life. Now, usually I only see my tarantulas dead. I've never caught one on its deathbed like this one. Usually when I go to them, they're already curled up and gone. But this guy, it's sad to see that I there's nothing I can do for him. Because this is just the end. I mean like two days ago, he ate a mealworm. And today he's almost gone. So that's unfortunate. Anyway, let's not disturb him anymore. Just put him in a corner and let him do his thing peacefully. I'm not gonna film the process of it, but I will come back in a few hours to check on him. Three hours later. All right guys, it's been about three hours now and I don't see any movement. Hmm. Yeah guys, no more movement, think that's the end of him, rest in peace little buddy. Oh wait, was there? Nah, I thought there was a little movement at first, but no, he's gone. Yep, that's the end of him. Well guys, there it is, you've seen a tarantula. On his deathbed, like literally minutes before its death. This guy died from old age, so don't really have to worry too much. I think I'm gonna preserve him like as a wet specimen, put him in a small little glass bottle and fill in alcohol. That way we can preserve him for years and years to come. By the way, before you do this, please make sure that your tarantula is like 100% dead. You wouldn't want to put a half dead tarantula into alcohol because that will not be a nice way to die. I'm going to try to put him in. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Moments later. Okay, so putting him in this little bottle took quite some time. I think about three minutes, three to four minutes. His carapace was actually a little bit bigger than the hole, the entrance, but I managed to push him in regardless. Now I don't have any other kind of alcohol. Usually people recommend isopropyl or ethanol, I think, but I've only got methylated spirit. So this is what I'm gonna use. This is still 95% alcohol, so it's gonna do just fine. I've got this pipette, or however you pronounce it, pipette, pipette. I don't know. I call it pipette, okay? So you just take some alcohol and fill it up. You don't have to fill it all the way to the top, but make sure you fill up till the whole specimen is covered. But I like to fill it all the way to the top so it looks nicer. So in the end, you just put a cap back on and put it on your shelf or something. And this will last you for years, possibly even decades. Unfortunate death, but it's here to stay. <laughs> oh yes, I forgot to mention that when you put in fresh specimens into alcohol, after a couple weeks to months, the alcohol will change color. Oftentimes it will change to a yellowish color, and that is the time when you want to replace. You want to throw out this alcohol and put in new alcohol. And you're just gonna do that for maybe three times. And after that, the alcohol is just gonna stay clear like this. 
pretty much forever. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. May this guy rest in peace and I'll see you guys in the next one.